Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Straight Fire Picks. Best bets for Major League Baseball World Series game number four between the Houston Astros and the Atlanta Braves on Saturday, October 30th, 2021. My name is Steve and we're going to have two picks here for you today. I think are great value bets for this World Series baseball game. As always, just want to thank you all for your continued support in the channel. If you are new to the channel here today, please be sure to hit that like and subscribe button. Always appreciate that. We're trying to reach 800 subscribers here by the end of the week. Also, be sure to check out our community Discord. It's a great place to connect with our community and to get new ideas for bets. Really highly recommend that. Uh, it's a great tool. Uh, without further ado, let's get right into our results from the previous episodes. We didn't have any comment cap or callouts um, in the previous episode that hit. As far as our stream results, we went 2-0. We've been absolutely killing it here in the World Series. We're 5-1 now in the World Series, but went 2-0 this last episode here in Game 3. We had the Atlanta Braves on the money line. They won 2-0 uh, behind a very strong performance from Ian Anderson. And then we had Ian Anderson over 3.5 strikeouts as well, and he cashed that um, in the fifth inning there. So we were able to go 2-0. We're going to get after it today. We want to get that 2-0 again. So let's get right into our picks at number 1. We are going with the Houston Astros money line here versus the Atlanta Braves at minus 104 odds. So we got Zach Greinke here taking the hill for the Astros, 11-6, 4.16 ERA on the season. This postseason, 2.1 innings pitch, 7.71 ERA. That is no good, obviously. And then we have Dylan Lee on the other side here for the Braves, who has a total of 4.2 innings pitch for his entire baseball career. Uh, he's got 2.2 innings pitched here in the postseason, giving up one earned run. Uh, the thing is here, guys, right, the Braves responded in Game 3. I thought they would behind Anderson. The Astros aren't going to go away in this series. I don't see that being a thing. Uh, you know, the Braves landed a right hook. Astros are coming back with the left here tonight. Um, this is going to be a long and great series. I expect this to go six or seven games. So if that's what's going to happen, that means the Astros are going to win tonight. really think they're going to. Greinke does have the you know experience advantage here. He's got 109 innings pitched in the postseason, posting a 4.29 ERA. That is not great in a lot of ways. Uh, but when it comes up to going up against the rookie, he's going to have a lot more poise than Dylan Lee is going to have here. He's going to be able to record some outs here for the Astros. I also don't like the way uh, the Braves handled their bullpen last night. Took uh, Ian Anderson out of the game after five innings pitched. You know, went to Minter and um, a bunch of their other good pitchers there in the bullpen. And I was like, you know what? You really could have saved those guys for a game like tonight. Could have had Minter starting tonight. And then I'd be looking at the Braves money line. But in this case, I think the Braves, you know, like I said, with the injury to Morton, they're a very resilient team. I understand that. But, uh, and, and I love them to still honestly go on to win this series. Uh, but in this spot, I do like the Astros to win. I really do. Uh, like I said, the experience factor with Granke, the Astros will respond. The bats will respond, especially here with a good matchup here against Dylan Lee. I expect, uh, you know, Altuve and the boys to get after it and to get it done. So take it there for your number one pick. Astros money line versus the Atlanta Braves at minus 104 odds. Okay, and finally, at number two, we are going with Jose Altuve to record over one and a half bases here for the Astros at plus 105 odds. So a couple things I always like when I look at over for a bases bet. For one, he's hitting leadoff. That means he's going to get the max amount of at-bats of anybody in the lineup. And he can hit for power. You guys all know about Altuve's power, how many home runs he's hit in the postseason. He's up there with some of the greats. Um, so obviously... I love that he's got power, and I love that he's going to lead the team in at-bats. Always, always a plus on that end. He has struggled this postseason. There's no way around it. He's hitting 189 in the playoffs. That is not good. Uh, but we did see some signs of life from him in Game 2. Went 2 for 5 at the plate, hit a home run, big home run. And I think he's due. I really do, and I think this is the type of matchup where he can take advantage you know, of a rookie here. Uh, that doesn't have a lot of experience. Um, I definitely think l 2 will have a big night. I really do. Uh, I think he needs to have a big night for, for the sake of the Astros, for sure. Um, you know, like I said, there has been a little little stroke of life here. Um, coming, like I said, in Game 2. Game 3, nobody hit for the Astros. So you can't blame Jose l 2 last game for, continue, for being cold at the plate. Um, but I like the signs there at the end of Game 2. So... 
Love it there for our two pick Jose L. Tuve to record over one and a half bases here for the Astros at plus 105 odds. Okay, guys, that's going to do it for our picks. If you enjoyed the content, please be sure to hit that like and subscribe button. Always appreciate that. Like I said, we're trying to reach 800 subscribers here by the end of the week. Also, be sure to check out our community Discord. It's a great place to connect with our community as well. Other than that, guys, I'm going to keep it short and sweet. Want to continue to be on this roll. We're 5 and 1 right now. Sorry the video's a little late, but better late than never. Let's get after it today. Let's get that 2 0. Good luck tonight. I hope you all have a great rest of your night. Peace out.